So oftentimes medical visits are very short. Doctors clearly in a hurry on their computer, you might have 15 minutes, but you might have hours worth of questions. This is complicated. Living with illness is complicated. Navigating healthcare is complicated. I'll say it again and again and again. So, uh, so there's no shame in this. Um, so, you know, what kinds of questions to ask doctors uh, to make sure you get the care that you need? Well, one, one point here is very often uh, healthcare is meted out in teams. So while you might see the doctor for a few minutes, it may be that in your clinic or where you're getting care, the nurses, you're much closer with the nurse or the social worker or whatever else. So one thought here is to, you, all your questions may not need the doctor to answer. In fact, sometimes it's better answered by the nurse or the social worker, et cetera. So one, one thing to think about here is to use the team uh, to get all your questions answered. Um, Another idea here is to, as you walk into uh, your next appointment, is for you to think ahead, what are the most important questions to get answered today? So you prioritize those and ask those first. Uh, and very often you might get the feeling, I'm sad to say, that the doctor just isn't hearing you or isn't even listening. Again, it's they're on the computer, there's so much going on. So I'd really encourage everybody here, it's not rude, uh, doctors are people. It is not rude to ask the doctor to repeat the answer or to say, I'm not sure I understood your answer. Can you tell me again? Or can you put that differently? But one way or another, if you are not getting your questions answered, it is not only is it okay, but I would encourage you to push to ask again. And if the appointment comes and goes and you still didn't get questions answered, well, sometimes there's a patient portal where you can email your questions. Or maybe it means you need to schedule not yet another follow-up appointment to get those questions answered. I just want to impress upon you that it's it's in our system, it's a little bit up to you to push to get the questions answered. But you might, one really important question is, is to ask outright, hey, doc, um, I'm not sure when you say that the cancer is metastatic now, what does that mean? Does that mean it's curable? Is it still possible to cure my illness? Or do we need to learn how to live with this illness? Doc, do you think that I may be dying from this illness in the next year or so? Is that possible? Would you be, would you be surprised if, if I died or my loved one died in the coming months or year? That can be a really rich question to provoke the doctor to think about things like hospice or palliative care, because otherwise the doctor's heads down and sometimes people are walking around with illnesses that they don't even realize are terminal. In fact, that's very, very common. Most care that gets delivered to patients is the care that the doctor wants for the patient, not necessarily what the patient wants for themselves. So back to communication, ask questions. And if you're not getting an answer to your question, ask again and tell them, please reframe. Can you rephrase that? I'm not understanding. There's no shame in that. That's perfectly okay.那这些呢都是可以和医生讨论的问题问题是如何支持家庭照顾者这方面的资讯像刚刚BJ讲的
。让我呃，首先来说，如果呃去访问病呃访问医生的时候，有的时候觉得医生的回答好像没有满足自己的啊、呃、的真的要问的问题，那可以也有两个方法，就是说写下来。啊，让医生可以告诉你比较详细的哦。医生是这样子，我这样，我这样的理解对吗？其实也就是让医生再重复一次他的答案，或者是让他真的在听到你在问什么。啊，还有一个好的方法，我自己在想，就是我通常啊会感到用啊电子邮件的方法是比较适合的。电子邮件的方法呢，可以。呃，通过这样写下来的一些文字，能够让医生给一个答案，也是一个呃选项。有的时候会说，有什么样的资料可以帮助我做治疗方面的决定呢？嗯，可以，呃，就是有什么可以参考，我自己也可以做一些啊、呃、自己方面的呃研研究，也可以问一问医生有什么建议。啊、uh, ，你有什么建议？是什么令到你做出这样的建议？建议呢？那么还有什么其他的啊、uh, 可行的方法呢？其他的 options 我可以知道，或者是治疗的方案，也都可以让医生给出一些不同的，不只是单一的一些一些答案呢？啊、uh, ，另外也可以就是问医生。啊、呃，这种病它治愈的机会有多大呢？啊、呃，治疗的过程会有什么感觉？啊、呃，会有什么副作用？我的药会不会有副作用？副作用有多大呢？嗯、或者是这种副作用持续多久呢？啊、呃，如果啊、呃、可以的话，还可以问医生，就是说我还能不能工作呢？这种叫做 life expectancy 有多长？啊，生命会有还还有多长？那么，另外也可以，如果在家里，可以问一问，就是护士多长时间来访一次啊？那医生的 involvement 有多少呢？我自己家庭医生的这种啊、呃、参与有又有多少呢？那么，如果我打电话的话，护士他的 res 他的 response 他的反应啊、呃，马上来看我呢，还是要等？等多久？有多快呢？他们的反应，嗯，或者是我的我的家人可不可以看我的 medical record？ 啊、嗯，我的医疗的一些个记录啊，哪一些啊、呃、药物啊、呃、是领养来支付或者是不支付的呢？这些都可以问的啊、呃。还有很多病人会问到这样的问题，就是说，哦，我们可想送家想送病人去一些疗养院一些。facility 或者是 nursing home， 那他的他的呃条件是怎样的呢？能不能够得到一些啊、呃、经济上的资助呢？这些其实都可以把它一个一个的列下来啊。苏宁说的方法很好，把它列成一个单子，然后看看医生怎么回答。如果你觉得有一些不清楚，可以再问多一次。I thought I'd jump in too. Grace, you're making some really good points there. About getting specific with treatments, doctors will often conveniently not talk about the side effects. So it's really important that you really ask these more qualitative questions. So you get a sense of what the experience will be like. If you simply ask the doctor, "Hey, are there more treatment options?" The doctor is almost almost always going to say, "Yes, we could do this or we could do that." But just because there are treatment options doesn't mean that you should take that treatment. Doesn't mean that it's right for you. Doesn't mean that it's what you would want to do. So the question simply isn't isn't whether there are more treatment options. The question is more whether there are treatment options that are that will serve you well for what you want. You know, some people hate being in the hospital, but a lot of treatment treatments will require some amount of time in the hospital. So that's a good example of well. If you ask your doctor for more treatments, I say yeah. You say, but are there ones that I can be comfortable at home, or like you said, Grace, if I could still work, that might change his answer or her answer in very important ways. And another really important question to ask is,、uh, what happens if I don't do this treatment?、Um, 
again, everyone's going to default to more treatment, more treatment, more treatment, but that doesn't mean that it's a wise choice. Uh, and in this, in the, in the American sort of bioethical world, the legal world, uh, we can always, you, one, a person can always say no to treatment. You never have to take the treatment that the doctor is offering you. You can't demand that you get a certain kind of treatment. That the, that's the doctor's choice, but you can always turn it down. Uh, and again, that's not the same thing as giving up. Very often more treatment can be hurtful or not what you, not what's right for you. So be sure to ask these kinds of questions to get more at the experience of what this treatment's going to be like and whether it serves your needs, not the doctor's needs.